Hey YouTube, Darlington Farm here, just over here at the Oak Street House, and as you can see, uh, I got the drywall up on the ceiling in here. I uh, just did, you know, a quick tape job there just to try and keep any moisture or drafts or anything like that out. Moisture, I don't know why I said moisture, but anyway, yeah, I just went ahead and just did a tape job on it. And putting up this uh, acoustic tile here. This is my first experience here with this type uh, type ceiling. Um, so far, it doesn't seem to be too big a deal to put up. Um, it does actually look like tin. I put up tin, and that was a major pain in the butt. But this is a whole lot faster and easier. Um, I think you're supposed to be able to staple it up or um, glue it up. I'm just using glue here. Here we go. Trim and paneling. Loctite. What's the, the number on this stuff here? See if I can get this open here so you can actually see it. Uh, PL505. And it is for... Where is it at here? Oh, do 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 What the heck is this for here? FRP. Oh, uh, fiberglass reinforced panels. I think is what this stuff is called here. Um, you're supposed to be able to staple it up or glue it up. I have just been, you know, like I said, gluing it. Um, if I actually had a staple gun over here, I'd probably sta do both. Um, just necessarily to put the pins in there or, you know, just to staple it up to keep it from shifting around. Because when you're gluing it up like this, it kind of, the whole thing kind of wiggles around. And I think what I'm going to do is just put that up there and let it dry overnight and come back tomorrow and see if I can finish it up because it... You push out one tile over here, the whole thing kind of shifts around, um, and I just don't have a staple gun over here. I'd probably just put a couple staples in each one just to kind of keep it from moving around. But uh, yeah, I don't think it looks too bad. Um, yeah, this is an Armstrong product here. So I can give you the shot of the label. Uh, relatively cheap. These were 60 bucks for 40 square feet at Menards. It's on sale, or I think usually it's like 75 bucks. A square foot or not a square foot yeah that'd be some expensive ceiling um, 75 bucks for 40 square feet now I will say that the, they have a plastic uh, version of this that looks pretty snazzy but it was like $32 I think for six square feet which I think is just kind of ludicrous for just a stamped piece of plastic but I guess they're pretty proud of it um, anyway I think this will look decent and uh, you know, it wasn't really my choice. I would have just taken the damn texture gun and sprayed it and been done with it, but I think it'll look pretty decent. So anyway, I'm Darlington Farm. Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And yeah, let me know if there's anything else you want to see over here at the Oak Street House. Um, yeah, not the most fun project, but you know, I think it'll look pretty decent.